What's going on, Digla Dreamers? Mathers here with an episode of... Actually, it's not really an episode of anything regular. This is actually a preseason battle for the Delta Battle League. If you guys don't know much about the Delta Battle League, make sure I'll leave their Twitter account in the description below. It is a uh, battle league where me and seven other people are all taking turns battling each other. And basically like a big sports uh, league, like kind of like NBA or NFL or something, where we each battle each other different teams once per week and we each draft 10 Pokemon and build teams out of those 10 Pokemon we have to kind of predict and play around what po what Pokemon the other team has with only the Pokemon that you cheese choose cheese cheese that's what I said only the Pokemon you cheese um, but we got a battle here against the Rotom fan where we're going to be using uh, our DBL teams um, or yeah uh, he is also known as the Rotom Fandom, that's the name of his DBL team. Uh, my team is also called the Boston Weasels, and we are ready to test the waters for this Delta Battle League that we're going to be a part of. The real league does not start until the summer, unfortunately, so it is going to be a little while until the league really gets underway. So this is just a preseason one. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you some more of these because it's a great idea, it's a lot of fun, and it's Pokemon battles, so why not? But I'm going to click accept here. Okay. So, I was just looking over his team that he selected. He has Charizard X as his Mega. He's got Rotom. There it is. Ooh, he didn't bring his Mega. But anyway, let's just go over his team. So he's got a Rotom Wash. He's got a Bisharp. He's got a Zumeril. He's got uh, Ferrothorn, Gothitelle, and Gengar. So looking pretty scary. Uh, let's see, what's my... What can sweep here? Um, low Punny can pr maybe sweep. Not really. Uh, could Scizor sweep? Scizor might be able to. No, I don't think it can actually. Chandelure is looking pretty powerful. But nothing's really looking that. Actually, Toxic Croak might be able to put in a lot of work if it could say uh, Sword Stance going. So I think that might be our best option is getting rid of the Gothitelle, maybe the Rotom too, and probably the Ferrothorn. Those are the three biggest things standing in the way of Toxic Croak. It does have Sucker Punch for Gothitelle, which would be nice. But I think that's our best plan of action. I'll just give him a one of these and I'm going to lead of course with my mega because I get a free fake out and mega evolution no matter what and even if that Gengar comes in because I have scrappy he does lead with the ferrothorn and I can that's actually gonna be rough <laughs> I don't have any hazard control on this particular team that I have, but I do have a Don Fan and Espeon on my team otherwise, so I do have options. I could also put Defog on either of these, either of these, either of these guys. Let me quick close out of the lobby here. Well, Star Wars Old Republic, free advertising, there you go. Uh, but faking out this thing is not going to be a great idea because I will take Iron Barb's damage and maybe even Rocky Helmet damage, which is something I don't really want to take. <sighs> Still considering it though, just to get the Mega Evolution off. I have a feeling he's just gonna go for hazards. So I think it's safest play, just go into Zapdos. It won't take much damage if he wants to go for a Gyro Ball or a. Um, Maybe like a power whip because I resist both of those and I'm defensive so I should be okay. He does just go for the rocks though, which is unfortunate, but uh, let's see if maybe I can pull off a heat wave here. Is he going to stay in you think? What is he going to do? Is he, is he going to set up spikes? Or is he just going to go for like a toxic or something? Maybe I should just go for a volt switch. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. Try to I'm going to predict him to know that Zapdos often carry Heat Wave and switch out into something. 
maybe the Rotom to take the Heat Wave, and the, or the Azumarill even. Oh, he stays in, wow. Uh, I guess let's go into Blizzard. He could go for Leech Seed right here, because I don't have any Grass types to take Leech Seed, actually. But just going into into Blizzard, the Scizor, in case he does want to go for an offensive move. He goes for a Toxic, that's even better. <laughs> that does no damage to me at all. Uh, let's go for a knockoff. I'm running Life Orb Offensive Scissor on this. I don't know why. I probably should have gone Bandit or even just Defensive, but I decided to go Life Orb for some reason. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so we get rid of that Choice Spec um, thing pretty easily because I can go for a Bullet Punch right here. Unless he wants to save it. That's fine. He sees my life orb too, so he knows I am offensive and I'm not banded. So he knows I can switch up my moves if I feel like it. And I do take out his Gothitelle right away, so that's perfect because that is was a big threat for my Toxic Krog and my Low Punny. That is fantastic. I don't know what he expect me to go for there. Superpower probably. Yeah, because uh, Gothitelle probably could take a superpower pretty easily. But, you know, Gengar could take it just as easily. Uh, he's definitely going to Will-O-Wisp right here. Oh, but it's too risky to go into Chandelure. Oh, if I was running especially Offensive Toxic Crook, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I think safest play is going to Zapdos because doesn't, Zapdos doesn't mind getting burned and uh, it res is not weak to either of Rotom stab. <laughs> Didn't feel a thing. That's great. He does go for the Will O Wisp, so Zapdos does get burned. But we do have Roost, which is not bad at all. Uh, I think we outspeed this thing. I'm going to try to Toxic it. He does have three Pokemon that are immune to Toxic, but I think it'll be worth it if I can get this thing Toxic'd. Perfect. Perfect. He goes for the Thunderbolt, and we eat that up pretty well. And I'm going to go for a Roost this turn, because I don't really care what he does. I just want to get some health back. So that's good to know that this Zapdos can pretty much handle a Rotom pretty well. That's great to know, because we have a, that's a big Pokemon to keep in mind. Alright, so in comes the Ferrothorn. We still haven't shown the Heat Wave, so I think we would be able to get one of those off right now. Uh, let's do it. See if we can get a clean KO right here. He might be baiting the Heat Wave going for a, do a double switch right here. He doesn't, and we get to take out the Ferrothorn. That's huge. Ferrothorn is gone. Uh, Low Pony has a lot less to worry about now. Also, that was a really cool animation for Heat Wave. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen it. But we are looking good. He's down two. We have yet to lose a Pokemon. We're looking pretty good. In comes the Gengar. Um, mm, I think I'm going to Volt Switch here. Because so I probably can take whatever hit he wants to go for. As long as I actually, if I can live at 25% at least, then that, that'll be fine. Okay, we take that pretty well. And we get a Volt Switch off, which does heck a lot of damage. And now we get a free switch into rocks in the box, and we can go for our fake out and get our mega evolution off. Bang. Perfect. You could go into the Bisharp or the Rotom, because Bisharp resists and Rotom, uh, he does switch. He goes into the Azumarill. Not bad. Takes the fake out pretty well. Uh, Zoomerill is super bulky. I don't really have much else for this uh, Zoomerill. Uh, Rocks and Mux will still be useful for the Bisharp, actually, because I can outspeed it. I resist the Sucker Punch. Um, let's just go into Slo Snowbro. Snowbro can take any hit. No problem, no problem. So is this a Belly Drum set is the question. 
It is a belly drum set. I should have known. Should have just gone for a return. I probably would have KO'd. But I think Snowbro, even with a plus four, facing down a plus four Azumarill, can still. Do I go for the Scald and hope for the burn? I think I go for damage here. So if I can get him to 20%, then I know I can take him out with a fake out. So I am just going to go for a Psy Shot because I think that will do it the most damage here. He goes for the Waterfall, we resist it, we live it, we flinch. <laughs> oh, the flinch. That can be game changing. Because we cannot live another one of those. I really did not want anyone else switching in on one of those. That changed the game so much. Good lord. Oh, dry skin. Right. Perfect. Thank goodness for dry skin. <laughs> uh, let's just go for a poison jab. I doubt he's going to want to switch out and get rid of this times four attack. He's probably just going to try to go for a play rough here, but I think I'll be able to take him out with a poison jab. At least I hope so. If he's ballsy, he could forfeit the, the belly drum and go into Bishar. But nope, he just lets it go down. So thankfully, we don't take too much damage from that Azumarill. And Clump shows his stars. Shows his stars. Show your stars, guys. Show your stars. I keep forgetting that I don't have a face cam on, and I keep like making these gestures toward the camera, but I know you guys aren't seeing them. But actually, Clump might even be able to completely sweep at this point. How much is the Rotom at? 94%, so maybe not. Um, he could be packing a Will-O-Wisp here, which is scary. But since he has it on the Rotom, what are the chances? And honestly, uh, I don't even really need Toxic Croak that much because if I can take out this, like, if I can take out this Gengar, then Clump will be doing it like more than I even expected him to. So let's just do it. I don't think Gengar gets any psychic type moves, but we take him out with a sucker punch anyway. So down goes Gengar, and now he's down to his Bisharp and his Rotom, and his Rotom is toxic. So in comes the Rotom. Probably gonna throw out a Will O' Wisp right now, but Zapdos can come in pretty easily. It would be really nice if he went for a Volt Switch. Actually, that'd be kind of a champ move there champ move he does go for the will-o-wisp and we are going to be able to get a roost off here I do have speed so there is no chance if he goes for a volt switch I'll even resist it with the roost off too so he goes for the thunderbolt which we resist which is good stuff uh, let's get another Roost off, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I don't want to be taking any hit. Like, no one else wants to take a hit from this thing. So I'm just going to Roost until he Volt switches. Or just switches normally into Ragnarok. Okay. I'm just going to go for a Heat Wave. This should do some nice damage. You could Sucker Punch which would do a nice amount of damage to us. Oh, he just goes right for the knockoff, gets rid of our leftovers. Can we KO with his Heat Wave? Not quite. Not quite. He does outspeed, but let's just go for a Roost anyway, because we can't switch out. We'll dive on the to the rocks if we switch out. So we gotta go for a Roost here. Oh, he goes for the Sucker Punch that time. Oh, man. That's rough. That is rough. Um, let's Volt Switch. We'll take out this Ragnarok. 
with the volt switch. He does have speed. There was really no reason for him to go to Sucker Punch. He goes for the Sucker Punch that time. And he dies to a Life Orb. And double down, everybody. Double down. Uh, <laughs> I think Rocks in the Box is our best play here. Go for the Fake Out, get some free damage, and then go for like a super powerful either Return or Drain Punch. I think Return is a little bit more powerful. Offensive wise is what I mean. Dream Punch is powerful, but uh, max happiness. Uh, I don't know. But let's fake out. See how much this does. It'll probably help us determine if it is especially or physically defensive. Okay, it does 24%, so I'm going to guess that is not physically defensive and then it's actually specially defensive so I think this return might just be able to KO but if not it's still pretty much over because even if I don't quite KO I think the toxic will take him out this turn and it doesn't quite take him out as he gets the will-o-wisp off on our rocks but does he go down uh, not quite yet but even with a burn we will be able to finish off this game with a return and that's a GG well played Rotom fan this is gonna be a very interesting that Delta Battle League. I'm gonna look forward to playing him again in the future. Uh, I think Rotom was recording his side of the battle as well. Uh, so if he is, I will put the video to that in the description of this video. And you should go check it out. He's a pretty cool YouTuber. Uh, he, I went to a couple of his streams and had a lot of fun. So definitely check him out. See his side of the battle. See what happened. Uh, and look forward to the Delta Battle League. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Um, yeah. I like this team. Going to get some... We still have uh, Talonflame. We have Espeon, Donphan. We have Clefable. Yeah, those are the other four that we had, did not bring to this battle, but still have the option to. So, guys, this is going to be a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Keep dreaming. Peace out.